Today I'm going to show you how you can build a lead qualification automation using make.com that's able to watch for inbound leads either filling out a form, talking to a chatbot, talking to a phone agent or even sending an email. It's able to take the information from the lead and look up their company website find out loads of information about their company website and compare the information gathered and researched from that lead to a 10 out of 10 perfect lead for your business scored out of 10 send all of this to a google sheet and if it uh, qualifies as a high enough lead uh, you and your team will be notified so this is strictly just built on make.com. Um, I haven't showed you how you can build a front end for this because you can literally just link it up from if you have a form, if you have a chatbot, you can you can just link it up and send it to this backend automation. So what I've done to keep this very simple is uh, I built a uh, just a really, really basic form using fill out forms just to demonstrate what this can look like. So what it basically does is just ask a couple of questions. This is this, this could be like a form that you have on your website or even if um, inbound leads coming in and booking an appointment, they can fill out these couple of questions and then uh, this automation will research all the leads before the appointment, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to show you is the make.com automation um, and like all of my other videos, I don't build it from scratch because I give away my templates for free. So I'm going to show you how you can set up this template very, very quick, very, very easy. And at the same time, if you just watch it, you'll be able to go and build it yourself or, 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 or tweak it yourself. So enough waffling, let's get into setting this up. Okay, so once you download the template, the JSON file, you want to just come down here and hit import blueprint and then just import that exact file that you've downloaded and this will pop up the this will be uh, different this will be a webhook module but you can just change it to whatever it may be uh, i've linked it up to fill out forms here just because that's what i built this example um form over here with that we're going to be using for the, for the tutorial but if you want to put it you put it whatever whatever you you wherever you're getting your inbound leads from you want to link it up through, through there and i obviously gotta make a tutorial on that because there's so many different places where you can be getting your leads but anyway this will show you the example. So what is happening here is whenever a form is filled out, these questions will be asked. So how did you hear about Efficus AI? And then next, or what services are you interested in? And then next is just contact details. So your email name and website URL. And specifically, website URL is very, very important for this. And I'll show you why. So once uh, you have linked up your form from fill out form, you've built it. This is, I literally just built it two minutes. And once you link this up, via make.com uh, all of the variables will show up so as you can see these are all the answers how do you hear about Africa's AI what services are you, are you interested in website email blah 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 so once you have your webhook set up wherever it's coming from uh, the next module obviously is going to be the HTTP request that you want to set up and basically what you just want to put in here you want to uh, make a request module is you want to put in URL please enter your website URL so what's happening here is you are basically looking up like you would on Google the URL of your leads website and it's retrieving loads basically all the content from the website all the JSON or HTML or whatever it is and um, we're parsing the text from that that's what this next module is very very simple you literally just put the result as you can see it's sort of bubbling there you put the result the raw data from the HTTP request into the text parser it just pulls all the text out of that and do a nice string and it's really really easy to deal with then it's ready to be used for large language models so once you have got your text from your leads website um you're able to now work with this a lot better with chat gpt and you're able to uh, you know research the lead and find out what exactly it is that they're doing and that's where the whole lead qualification part falls in so this next step what we are doing here is as you can see this prompt it doesn't have any variables but basically what you're doing here is you don't need to change anything here at least i don't think so yeah, you don't need to change anything here. What this is basically doing is it's just taking the uh, the parsed the parsed text from the website and just making a, a comprehensive summary of your lead um, using AI. It's taking things as you can see. I've prompted it to be um, the sort of uh, you know kind of make a lot of guesses. So thoroughly scan the text and be mindful of the company name. What does their name suggest that this company does? Analyze the content. Who's this company trying to attract and engage? What's their value proposition? You get the idea. So what we're getting is we're getting um, OpenAI GPT-4 Omini to interpret the text scrape from the website of your lead and to make a really, really nice summary, an elaborate sum summary of your lead, just trying to get as much sensible information as possible about your lead so out of nowhere all we've got is the leads a couple of basic details from the lead and we already have a massive summary of their website very 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 simply very straightforward so now we have a big summary of their business from their website 
what we now are doing is basically this is the main juicy part uh, of, of the qualification process. We're taking that summary of the business and the other questions that they asked, you know, what services are you interested in and things of that nature. And we're feeding this in to OpenAI and saying, okay, here's a lead. I want you to compare this lead to a 10 out of 10 lead. So compare this to a 10 out of 10 lead and based how closely it represents this 10 out of 10 lead, score it out of 10. And that's in, in essence what's happening here. So I'm going to set this up for my business. So as you can see, I've done this for Africa's AI. Um, so for a little bit of context, this is who we are doing it for. Oh, that is not Africa's AI. This is who I'll be setting it up for. This is my business, my AI automation agency. I'll be setting this up um, with our ideal leads, which are for this example, gonna be marketing agencies, digital marketing agencies, so let's go ahead and get these variables filled out. So this, uh, I don't think, other than the, the webhook, you don't really need to change anything here. Keep that the same, keep that the same, and keep that the same. Obviously, you're going to want to change whatever the URL is from coming from. I've put it in here from fill out because that's what I'm using. But if you're using a webhook, you want to put it as the key that you've put into the webhook. I'm not repeating myself. I'll not repeat myself. So let's get this set up. You are highly, uh, you're an expert and highly skilled lead qualification agent for Africa's AI. company that specializes in AI automations and development. Keep it nice and simple. Task, qualify and score leads based on the information provided. You will be given the following details about a lead. And I've left this into the template just so you sort of have an idea of what you're filling in here. But whatever questions you're asking on your front end, whatever information you're getting from your lead, you want to you put this in here for more context so that the, so the open AI is able to make a better guess of what score the lead is okay another variable your job is to analyze this information closely and compare it to an abstract 10 out of 10 lead for company name and now what we're going to do after i fill this in is we will describe what a 10 out of 10 lead is boom 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 okay so let's map these in from our form name uh please enter your name email please enter your email and url Please enter your website URL, services they're interested in. Boom, and a comprehensive overview. So that's already filled in. Okay, brilliant. Focus AI, fill that in. Okay, so now what we need to do, so a uh, bit of context. Now here's what a 10 out of 10 lead for Efficus AI looks like. And this just says customize the section based on the ideas. Uh, on, the, on the ideal lead for the business, you can fill it in as aspects of like company size, service offerings, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write what a 10 out of 10 lead for us looks like. And we'll be back in two seconds once this is done. So I have written down what a 10 out of 10 lead looks like for my agency. A digital marketing agency that's doing over seven figures in annual recurring revenue. Their services are including but not limited to web design, SEO, blah, blah, blah. And then a company that presents themselves as an authority in the space and innovative and forward thinking. So you don't have to be overly descriptive here. That will do. It will be able to sort of in, in its AI brain, it will sort of picture what that looks like. And based on a big load of website content, the summary and, uh, you know, a couple of things like that, it's going to be able to piece it together quite well. So this isn't like something that I'm actually going to be using in my agency. Um, we prefer to just manually deal with leads because we're in a position where we're not getting so many inbound leads to the point where it's hard to cope with. Um, and it's pretty easy to qualify them ourselves. So, yeah, but I mean, if you're an agency that's doing, you know, like seven figures, if you're an agency that's like that, this would be incredibly useful for you, especially if you're getting lots of inbound leads. But I mean, this could be useful for even not non B two B companies, you know, if you sell products or, or whatever it may be, this can be incredibly useful. Especially real estate, this would be massive for real estate dealing with very high, high ticket leads. But anyway, um, so the final note is now with this in mind, compare the lead that I provided you with to the ten out of ten lead and score it one through ten. Ten means the lead is nearly identical to what I've just said here, and um, boom, boom, boom. One means the lead is far from the ideal lead and doesn't match well. Very, very simple. Your output should be as followed. Lead score and a brief one to two sentence of uh, justification to explain the reasoning. And our tokens are just, I put it at 2,000 here, so we have plenty to work with. It's only four room in a, so it's really, really cheap. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the qualification part done. Um, very, very simple. And then what we have here, this is just very, very basic. You don't need to change anything here if you're using the template. All of this is doing is just pulling out the digit 
from um, uh, this output. So the remember what the output was, we prompted it to say, okay, so the lead score, and then a quick justification, we're just pulling out the score, just the score. So here's an example, input text, lead score seven, a decent lead, most criteria for a solid agency is met, your output seven, boom, lovely. And then once we have that, we have, um, Everything that we need, we have the exact lead score. We have, you know, the uh, the justification as well. <coughs> and we're able to send this to a sheet. So if it's good lead, uh, I just put this as a seven. So if the lead score is greater than or equal to seven, it means it's a good lead. And if it's um, lower than, less than or equal to six, then it's a bad lead. Obviously, you can change that to whatever you want. In my, in my mind, seven seems like a pretty solid lead. And I've just set up a Slack notification there. You can put whatever you want there. If you want to change that to an email or to, uh, you know, uh, an email to you and your team to let you know you've got a high quality lead in or if you want to email the lead itself because we've already gotten the email. So you can, you can, there's so much that you could do here. You could write, uh, you can get another open AI module in there to write a personalized email because uh, you have so much information that you're able to write a personalized email. That would simply be a case of setting up another open AI module. Okay, here's information about a lead. I want you to send a personalized short email. Uh, here's an example of what my, uh, like my writing style is make it personalized write it in British English you get the idea so there's so much you can do here I just wanted to show you the exact qualification part so with all of this being set up what I'm going to do I'm going to go very quickly set up a Google Sheet and we'll give this a uh, test run I'll, I'll link up these um, to a quick Google Sheet and um, yeah obviously you can put Airtable here you, if you so many CRMs and make.com that you can very easily add this to Notion whatever it may be I'm just going to use Google Sheet because this is strictly tutorial so I'm going to stop waffling I'll be back in one second right so set up a Google Sheet here and I'm going to very very quickly map everything into we need so obviously our name is going to be please enter your name email is going to be email URL you guessed it, URL and services interested, services interested, where they heard, or did you hear about Efficus AI, and then the lead score, let's just zoom this out, actually zoom this in, we want to make sure we're getting the right one in here, oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. Okay, beautiful. So we want the uh, lead score, so if you want to, there's a little quick um, make tip for you. If you want to make sure that you're mapping in, this is a perfect example for it. Let me, let me move this. Move this over. Oh my goodness. I'm getting frustrated. Right, okay. So, let's done it again. Let's done it again. Right, okay, you can kind of see it here. So, if you want to make sure that you're mapping in the right module uh, on make.com, see the module, see the way the OpenAI module is. The, I don't know why I'm pointing with my finger, you can't see, but you see the way this one's going to bubble? That means that's the module that you're hovering over. And if we were to put another, for example, this one in and hover over it, it would bubble. So it's uh, this is very, very helpful whenever you've loaded modules that are the same, doing different things. So that's, if you remember, this one creates the summary and this one scores the lead and this one extracts the, the digit. So this is the one that we want into the sheet with a brief justification. And then we will go down here and do the exact same thing and change everything. Right? These are just the ones that I put into the template. So that's why they're black. Um, boom, boom, boom. Name, email, URL, services. Oh, lagged a wee bit there. Why they heard. And the result is there. Wonderful. And I'm not going to set up Slack, so I'm just going to unlink that. And we should be good to go. Let's give that a save. And just check over everything. Um, all of our all of our variables are filled in. We should be good to go. So let's go ahead over to fill out and give this a test. So I am on fill out here, and I've went and got uh, just some random digital marketing agency that I'm going to pretend to be. I'm going to pretend to be a high quality lead here. So I've just went and looked up. Um, I think I got Ruckus Marketing. So if you're watching this Ruckus Marketing, um, you're the you're the lucky one today. And um, so yeah, actually, I should probably turn this on. Run once, let's go. So how did you hear about Africa's AI? I heard about you guys on LinkedIn. What services are you interested in? I am interested in AI chatbots. Automations. Please enter your email. Um, for example, I'll just put Finley at rockusmarketing.com so it doesn't think I'm 
from the marketing.com and your name and the topping and the website URL boom let's go so we should be running well so we've already done that was quick well so we've already done the HTTP request we've got the text nice and parsed OpenAI is now making a summary of the the website that we entered and then it's going to score that Google Sheets wonderful now let's see what we're working with so 7 out of 10 this is quite appealing okay wonderful Ruckus Marketing is a digital marketing agency that is interested in AI chatbots and automation, which aligns with Avacus AI services. While they demonstrate significant expertise in branding and creative engagements, their focus seems more on creative marketing rather than broad digital marketing strategies, which could, which could limit the potential for partnership compared to a lead that includes a broader array of services and higher annual recurring revenue. Now, if we go back to make.com, we can see that that is very, very accurate to what we put. Um, so the main services, web design, SEO, PPC, and social media and all that stuff. And if you see these guys, according to ChatGPT, yeah, these guys are more like branding and, and you know, that sort of stuff, film and more of a cr uh, creative agency than a digital marketing agency, but still good. They still are, are, are a good, solid marketing agency. They do campaigns and I dare say they would do, you know, websites. So seven out of 10 is very, very valid. And you can see how simple this is to set up. And then obviously I'm not gonna go do a load of tests because you can see what's kinda going on here. If I were to enter some completely random business that is just, you know, like a construction company or something, then it would obviously be a one. Um, so this is more more built to rank um, sort of like specific leads, not just like a broad range of leads, but I guess you could use it for really whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I haven't built any sort of front end for this. Uh, well, I mean, I have, but not, not like a business production ready sort of front end. This is just a, a complete example. You want to plug this in to whatever. So wh think about wherever your inbound leads go, plug this in and plug your questions in. And if you have a system where you capture inbound leads and you get their URL, this is going to be incredibly helpful. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you'd like to see some sort of like chatbot tutorial, how I could plug this into a chatbot, then let me know. I'd be up for building that. That would be interesting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So as normal, if you would like this template, my email is in the description. Go and ship me across an email and I'll send you across the template for this exact automation uh, as soon as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you find this helpful, be sure to like and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.